The production intent vehicle is moving forward with validation testing, and it looks like we are on the right track to seeing the Aptera on the road soon. Let's dive into the latest updates and see what's happening right now at Aptera Motors. Before we get into this, if you're enjoying our briefings on this channel, please consider liking and subscribing to this channel and turn on the bell notification to be notified of any recent video. Thank you. First, let's take a detailed look at Aptera's battery module, which is a crucial component of their innovative solar-powered vehicles. The module consists of battery cells, current collectors, and a circuit board that communicates with the battery management system BMS. The cells used are cylindrical 21,700 cells, which have a chemistry known as NMC, nickel manganese cobalt. This chemistry provides high energy density, making it ideal for efficient energy storage in electric vehicles. Each module contains 384 cells, delivering 7.3 kilowatt hour of energy. For the launch edition vehicles, six of these modules combine to form a 44 kilowatt hour battery pack. This setup ensures that the vehicles have sufficient energy storage to meet their performance and range targets. One of the standard features of Aptera's battery module design is its flexibility. The module can accommodate different cell connection approaches, including laser welding, wire bonding, and ribbon bonding. This adaptability allows Aptera to source cells from multiple suppliers, reducing the risk of supply chain disruptions. Additionally, the battery modules are designed to be robust and reliable. They are housed in an aluminum frame and rest on a cooling plate or heat exchanger plate. This setup helps manage the temperature of the modules, either cooling them down or warming them up, depending on the environment. Effective thermal management is crucial for maintaining battery performance and longevity. Validation testing and results. Aptera's battery modules have undergone rigorous validation testing to ensure their reliability and performance. The modules were subjected to aggressive vibration and shock testing over a three-day period at the Silo Testing Laboratory. This testing simulated 100,000 miles of vehicle use. The results were impressive, no mechanical failures occurred, and all electrical performance metrics remained unchanged. Microscopic inspection revealed no damage or signs of wear, and thorough electrical testing confirmed no capacity reduction or other electrical failures. These positive outcomes demonstrate that Aptera's battery modules are built to withstand the demands of real-world use. Furthermore, Early testing indicates that the modules can charge at rates exceeding 400 miles per hour, which addresses a common concern about EV charging times. Now let's look into production feasibility. Tim Vaughan, a key figure at Terra, shared exciting news about the progress towards production. The PI vehicles are currently being built, with major systems ordered and some already in-house. Solar panels and batteries, critical components of the Aptera, are under Aptera's control and are coming together smoothly. Other systems, such as the suspension and frame, have been ordered with parts expected to arrive by the end of June or early July. Key components and assembly. Firstly, solar panels. The solar panels are being produced by Reed and his team and are ready to be installed on the vehicles. These panels are essential for harnessing solar energy to power the Aptera. Next, battery packs. The battery packs, which have passed all validation tests, are ready to be integrated into the vehicles. These packs will provide the energy needed for the vehicles to operate efficiently. Lastly, suspension and frame. The suspension and frame components have been ordered with delivery expected soon. These parts are crucial for the structural integrity and performance of the vehicles. What about the electrical systems? The electrical team is doing an outstanding job finalizing the wiring harness and preparing all connectors and components. They are working closely with suppliers to ensure everything fits perfectly in the vehicle's design. This meticulous attention to detail is vital for the overall functionality and safety of the Aptera. With major components ordered and assembly underway, 
Aptera is moving full speed ahead towards production. The first PI builds are expected around mid to late July, with production ramping up from there. Once the initial builds are complete, Aptera will proceed with extensive testing, including crash testing, to ensure the vehicles meet all safety and performance standards. Timeline and Expectations End of June or early July, arrival of suspension and freighting components. Then, mid to late July, first PI builds expected. Finally, August onwards, extensive testing and validation, leading to final production. Terra's journey towards production is not just about technical advancements, it's also about community engagement and support. The excitement among App Terra fans and stakeholders is palpable, and this enthusiasm is driving the company forward. What's next for App Terra? Once the PI vehicles are on the road, App Terra will conduct rigorous testing to validate all aspects of the vehicle. This includes performance testing, safety testing, and real-world driving scenarios. The feedback from these tests will be used to make any necessary adjustments before full-scale production begins. Potential Challenges While the progress so far is promising, there are still challenges ahead. Scaling production from prototypes to mass production involves complex logistics, quality control, and supply chain management. Additionally, Aptera must ensure they have adequate financial resources to sustain and scale production. In conclusion, Terra's latest update on battery validation and production progress is highly encouraging. The robust design of their battery modules, successful validation tests, and strategic flexibility in supply chain management position them well for the next phase of their journey. However, the transition to mass production will require meticulous planning, sustained effort, and adaptability. As Aptera fans and stakeholders, we can be cautiously optimistic about the future. The company's innovative approach and recent advancements are promising, and the coming months will be pivotal in bringing their solar-powered vehicles to market. Continued support and engagement from the community will be essential in driving Aptera towards a sustainable and successful future. What do you think about the latest updates from Aptera? Are you excited about the progress and looking forward to seeing the production in 10 vehicles on the road? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the like button, ring the bell for notifications, and subscribe to stay updated with all the latest news and developments from Aptera. Thank you to all my patrons for your continued support. You are awesome. I appreciate each and every one of you. Stay tuned for more updates as we follow Aptera's journey to revolutionize the automotive industry with their innovative solar-powered vehicle. Until next time, take care and stay excited for what's coming next from Aptera.